Hello, welcome to the Matsumo Dari. If you're new here, nice to see you. If you're returning, thanks for the commitment. Anyway, this is episode three, and we're here to talk all about deaf awareness. Thank you for tuning in to the last episode. It was a big thing to actually get out my love story and it meant a lot to me to do that and for you guys to actually respond with lovely comments lovely messages that means the world to me so yeah again thank you the reason i'm doing deaf awareness is because lots of you have actually asked about tips asked about communication and all sorts and i just want to do my bit and give you a few tips that I think contribute towards deaf awareness. All right, let's get into it. So, getting my attention, so say I'm facing somewhere else, you can tap my shoulder, not hard, tapping my shoulder. That gets my attention. Also, you can just wave. Give me a little wave, give a little wave. I'll, that'll get the attention. If, for example, say you're indoors, you can just turn the light switch on and off. Just one or two times. Just not. That's a bit much. And we've got the electricity to be able to think of. Say if I'm in one room and you're in the other, and you want to get my attention, just send a text. Like, most of the time, I'll have my phone in me, or I've got my Apple Watch and it'll bud even if the phone's not too near, not nearby. One thing that we do need to talk about is talking. Now, you need to talk to me face to face. Reason being because I lip read you. Other deaf people may sign, they may use both, but it's important to establish which communication is being used. But in my situation, it would be fake to me. Saying that about lip reading, if you're moving around, I can't focus on the lips. So saying till allowed, and at front allowed me to actually read your lips a lot more better and efficiently. If you're talking to me with your back turned to me, I can't read your lips. I don't have x-ray vision. <laughs> I know. Don't exaggerate or talk slowly or loudly. It actually makes it even harder for me to know what you're actually saying. Don't cover your mouth. How can I read your lips? Use visual cues if possible. For example, hey, do you want to go and get a drink? Let's go to the bar over there. Do you want to go pub? Are you hungry? Do you want some food? Visual cues go a long way. If there's difficulties, always try and use visual cues. If you feel like there's not much you can do. Write it down. Or, hey, everyone's got their phone in them nowadays. Just, what, just text it and just write it down. And just show them. Open up a notes app. You know? There is always a way. Be patient. Alright? We'll get there eventually. <laughs> if we're really not getting it, don't say, don't worry. Or... I'll tell you later, don't worry about it. Don't do that. It's considered rude because that excludes us. And in the ideal world, we all want to be included. Just have a little bit more patience. Keep trying. Sometimes group conversations will be a bit tricky, especially if multiple people are talking at once. Because our hearing aids or cochlear implants amplify 
everything. Remember, they don't just amplify one voice, they will amplify everyone's voice. So you will find it a bit tricky to uh, work out what everyone is saying. Or be made to focus on one person at a time speaking. Which means that we do miss things. So just be mindful of that. If you're deaf yourself and you have more tips than deaf awareness, please leave a comment on this video. Because everyone reading this will see these comments and they will learn. Remember, deafness is a spectrum, not one size fits all. And there's only so many things I can say with what I know. And there's a lot of things other deaf people can say about what they know. I don't know everything, but I can tell you what I know. So please, if you're deaf and you're watching this, please make your voice known. Tell us all about what you think is great deaf awareness. The thing is, even watching this video right now, you've learned something. You have taken something from this. You have gained more deaf awareness. Because at the end of the day, everyone wants to be included, even deaf people. And the world's a much happier place when everyone feels included. If you even want to, which would be great, learn sign language. Look at YouTube, see if there's any good videos you can learn them from. Take a BSL class, knowledge is power. And by learning sign language, that's even more sensibility. I know this is a bit of a short one, but that is why I know. However, next episode will be all about deaf technology. I'm going to talk about all the different devices that are used. I will also talk about devices I use, like my hearing aids. I will also talk about what sort of adaptive devices can be used for everyday life, such as flashing doorbells or vibrating alarms. Saying that, I will also talk about devices we already have that can be adapted to be more deaf friendly and more. I'm actually so excited to be doing the next episode because technology is amazing. It has come such a long way. I will explain like what my old hearing aid were like and how hearing aids have changed as well. Also, technology can enable us to do a lot more things. I will tell you one example. Now I can hear people on the phone, not always understand, but I can hear them because I have Bluetooth in my hearing aids. Technology also provides us with subtitles on videos on the internet. But I won't go into that much because I want to stay with for the next episode. Simply put, technology is amazing. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you want to use this video as an example for Deaf Awareness Week, please do so. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself. Ciao.